Hi, this is Pat with Right Channel Radios, and we have a special treat for today. You'll probably remember this old relic. This is my original Cobra 75 radio that I got over 15 years ago. But, as you probably know, the new wireless Cobra 75 has recently been released. So, out with the old and in with the new. Let's go ahead and open the new Cobra 75 up, see what's in the box, and uh, see what we have to be excited about. Cobra 75 All Road. Now this is a very unique radio, keeping in uh, pace with the old Cobra 75. It's an all-in-one handheld unit, so it's going to be ideal for vehicles that have, you know, limited cab space. Think, you know, Jeeps, UTVs, um, <laughs> you know, cars. Anybody who really, who really wants to have a radio, but just doesn't have a lot of space to put um, a unit. You know, you can easily hide the control box on this thing under the seat, but one real special thing about the new Cobra 75 is it actually, is it's a wireless radio, meaning that the control box and the handset don't actually have to be connected. So they work between each other via Bluetooth. Um, let's open up, take a look at what's inside. So here we go. All right. Oh man, some of this new packaging. I'll try not to, I'm gonna try not to wreck it. All right, there we go. Let's, see, let's get it out of the box. Open this guy up. First thing, of course, on top is Cobra 75 All-Road Manual, Quick Start and Installation Guide. And, oh yeah, this is just a nice big fold-out manual. And it looks like it's all in English on both sides. So there you go. You don't have to worry about a 300-page manual with 10 different languages. That's kind of nice. Here's the uh, control box for the Cobra 75. And, oh, it looks like it... Uh, has a waterproof connection here. So this is the control box for the radio. On the back, you can see we have um, the connection for your PL259. And let's see under here. And yep, there is a spot for an external speaker as well. And it does have a little rubber cover. So uh, one nice thing about this unit is this is a, a waterproof, IP66 rated waterproof unit so it can get wet. Probably not the prettiest unboxing in the world. Let's get rid of that. Okay, so here is the rest of the power cord. Again, you can see the uh, waterproof connection here. Um, fuse power, powder co or power cord and the fuse is inside there. Um, here's a little parts bag with the uh, microphone clip and some additional screws and additional fuse in there as well. All right. Oh, this is nice. They do give you a USB, a uh, little USB port for a cigarette lighter plug, and you'll find out why that's important here. And then, of course, we have the handheld unit itself. So let's go ahead and open this up. This is pretty. It's. It's honestly. It's. It's pretty. Pretty big. It's, uh, okay, I'm gonna have to get it side by side to the old one. I'll need to go grab that thing again. All right, let's get rid of this plastic. Okay, so here is the Cobra 75 handset. So here's all the parts. Just kind of spread them out here on the table so you guys can see them. There's the manual, power cord with the um, waterproof connections a little uh, DC power plug for the um, for USB and then the parts bag with a microphone clip and of course the Cobra 75 has your standard microphone button on the back. Uh, looks like we have the push to talk button standard on the side, power button on the top, um, volume and channel buttons right there on the front. But let's just kind of get into how this radio actually works. So one really cool thing about this, you know, as Cobra 75 of the past, you always had that small control box. In fact, I'm going to grab it. So here is the, 
Okay, so here's the old control box for the Cobra 75. Um, obviously, the old Cobra 75, and here it is. I'm just gonna, gonna hold these things up close to each other. So the new one, actually, in general size, I'd say it's a little bit more space, a little bit more space on the new handset, but it is side by side. It's a little bit thinner. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. Um, the nice thing about the new one is it has substantially more functions. And let's take a look. So old control box, of course, you would, um, you know, power, power it up, uh, wire it up, and then the Cobra 75 handset would attach here just in this uh, five pin microphone connection. Well, the new one, you can actually attach this unit because this communicates via Bluetooth to your handset. So this handset, all this handset, the handset does need to be powered, but all it needs to be done is this handset just has a Bluetooth connection on it. Uh, so this hooks up via USB. If your new vehicle has a factory USB connection, you'll just be able to plug this in there. And then the handset of the radio will communicate uh, to the remote box. You can put this box really wherever you choose to route your coax cable into the vehicle. So, you know, let's say if you have a smaller car and you want to put this in the trunk of the car, uh, let's say you have the, the cable come down, uh, maybe you have a magnet antenna on the top and you route that cable uh, down, you know, the back, back window into the trunk. Well, that would be pretty handy, right? Then all you need to do is power this unit and you don't need to hook it up directly. However, you can hook it up directly under this here is on the control box is a USB. So if you do, let's say, put this under your driver's seat, you don't have a USB up there, well then you can um, put that in there and it does have a nice secure connection. One really cool thing about uh, the Cobra 75 is they did make, they did design, design this in mind, not only with off-road drivers, overlanders, um, but also, you know, UTV drivers. Folks who, you know, it's a reality that water is probably gonna get in the cab. So again, IP66, waterproof rated, and uh, this is gonna be an ideal radio for somebody who is maybe out there getting after it, getting in some river crossings, um, but still need to keep their CB comms up. The new Cobra 75, again, is, uh, you know, features both AM and FM, and, you know, channel scanning, automatic squelch control to keep, uh, to keep you know, that static down, uh, A&L, um, noise blanker, all that good stuff on here. Let's go ahead and power the radio up and take a closer look. All right, you guys, I have the Cobra 75 handset powered up and we are just gonna go through the functions of it really quick. First off, you can see that the USB is attached to the control box. So <laughs> if I had another USB to hook it up to here in the studio, I would do that and show you um, how it works in uh, Bluetooth connection to the unit, but I don't. So here we go, we do have it hooked up just uh, as you can. And first off, looking at the display, you can see uh, the channel off to the side. We're on channel 19, bottom left-hand corner, you can see the frequency counter. You can see your RX and SWR meters on the front of the radio. And then you can see which mode you're in as well. Top right, you can see we're in AM. Uh, you can quick, uh, you know, click the AM FM button to move over to FM. Um, and then we have our noise filters as well. Let's go back over to AM so we can use them all. So we have noise blanker and ANL or both. Um, bottom left hand corner, you can switch between uh, CB function or weather function. You can also hold it down to lock the um, buttons on the radio if you don't want something to get bumped. Um, let's keep going. Okay, of course you have your channel buttons here in the middle. And then if you want to change the volume on the radio, you click volume and then use the two large buttons in the middle to change that. Uh, you have squelch and automatic squelch control here. Uh, so click it once on standard squelch. If you hold it down, you'll be able to adjust your automatic squelch, which is what I'm a big fan of. And so, okay, then you have automatic uh, channels 9 and 19 for emergency channels. Uh, you can also hold it down for channel scanning. You can see how scan shows up at the bottom there as well. You have to hold it down to stop it, actually. 
uh, memory channels, you would uh, hold this down to um, set your memory channels. And then here is uh, your menu. So hold this down to get in the menu. And here you can control Bluetooth for pairing the radio, your um, you know, voice, voice control, uh, weather alerts, weather alert scan, weather alert auto scan. You can set all that up. Display megahertz, that's that five digit frequency counter on the front. Auto power, whether you want your radio to power on, uh, there is a power button on the very top of the radio, as well, and of course your push to talk button off to the left hand side. Oh, I lost the menu, let's get back in there. Here's your backlight control. So you can change that for the time of day. Uh, use this escape key on the right hand side to go back to the menu. Can uh, adjust your contrast on the display as well. So let's, I'm going to turn contrast down a little bit. For the sake of the video, I think <laughs> it was making it a little hard to see there. Okay, let's go back to the menu. Key tone, audio routing. Okay, so audio routing is something you want to pay attention to. Let's hop in there so you can have it. You can have audio come out of just the Bluetooth speaker here, just the external speaker, or both, which I think is a nice option. Um, okay, we have um, noise, noise filter here, TX noise reduction, let's go back, RX noise reduction, information about the radio, you know, gives you your serial number, um, FCC ID, all that good stuff. And then you can reset back to factory controls. All right, and so that is really everything uh, on the handset. If you guys have any questions, of course, let us know. And let's, uh, let's get back to it. Thanks for sticking with me as we went through the specifics of the new Cobra 75. At Right Channel, we've helped a lot of people get into Cobra 75s over the years. And now to have the new AM, FM version, and so many other functions, as well as having a nice, reliable, waterproof radio. This is something we're excited. So if you, you know, are a Jeeper, off-roader, overlander, you know, whatever the term is <laughs> these days, this is going to be a great unit. If you are somebody who just wants to have a radio and, and doesn't want to worry about, you know, routing cables all throughout your vehicle, the wireless function of this is going to be ideal. If you guys have enjoyed the information you learned today, we would love to win your business at Right Channel Radios.